Hello students, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here in this session we are going to discuss a very important C program somewhat intermediate level and the question is very simple and solution is also very simple. The need is the you must watch the video till the end and try to grasp the concept right. So the basic question is write a program with three short strings about six character each short string with the length of uh, the string may be short. And we are giving exact information that six characters each. The use of str cpy function is for copying one, two, and three into them. And then we have to concatenate the three strings into one string, and then we have to print the result. Let's focus how we are going to use it. I have included the header file studio.h because you know pre, uh, puts uh, uh, printf and other another function have definitions in it and the basic functions of uh, gets put to storing the string and to get the string is in there. The string dot h is for str cpy and str cat for these functions their definitions are stored in this header file. So once c processor is going to be called it is going to expand the library uh, it is going to expand the definitions of this from this library file basically from header file and they are going to work like that. Okay, so basics. Now, compiler is basically going to read from the main function onwards. And here we have uh, created three short strings and we have declared also. The first string is care str100 and the string is cprogm. The next string is char, that is a character type. str to the name of array 100 is basically, it means that this much memory we have allocated, right? It is independent. If you want to allocate more, you can. If you want to allocate less, you can, right? Depends on the user. So I have uh, declared the uh, next string is the A, B, C, D, E, F. And the next one is care str300 and its value is Q, W, E, R, T, Y. That is the thing. Now, we have used uh, function str cpy str2 comma str1. Now it is very interesting thing to know that uh, we have learned in our string lectures also that uh, this means that str2. So what does str2 means? str2 is our destination string and str1 is our source string. So whatever at the source is there, it's going to copy. It's going to copy at the str2. So you know that whenever we are going to use a function like str cpy, if originally something is there, that is going to be, that is going to be, uh, overlap that is going to be deleted that is going to be basically we can simply say that that is going to be missed right so after execution of this statement str1 is having cprogm and str2 is also having cprogm because earlier str2 was having abcdf but as we have used str cpy str2 it is a source it is a destination so cprogm is uh, cprogm is copied here so uh, original value is missed and puts str uh, okay and i have written here str cpy str3 comma str2 it means that whatever at the str2 is there is going to be copied at str3 but after execution of this statement what would be what will be at the str2 it would be cprog right because it's already copied and what str3 is now having earlier it is having 20 q w e r t y but now it's not having 20 it's having cprogm as well so right now the value of str1 is c program str2 is c program and str3 is c program so when i am going to print this puts str3 what's going to be print cprogm right basic functions of string now what we are doing str cat str1 comma str2 now what we are doing, we are concatenating string two with string one. So it becomes CPROGM and CPROGM. And again, we are, uh, we are concatenating string three with string one. It would become CPROGM, CPROGM and CPROGM. Why? Because STR1 is going to become CPROGM and CPROGM two twice because it's concatenated. It is a destination, it's source. And str3 is going to become cprogm, cprogm, and cprogm three times because str1 is having two times CRO, cprogm. It's going to be copied here. It's going to concatenate here. Now, one by one, we are going to print str1, str2, str3. 
So STR1, what it's going to print two times, CPROGM, CPRO. Then STR2, CPROGM only, and STR3, CPROGM, CPROGM, CPRO. We have concatenated letter like that. Okay, better you are going to understand it with the help of uh, online uh, compiler, that how online compiler is going to work for it. Let me run the file. The name is concatenation. Okay, let me check the file name so that we can run it. Concatenate.c. Okay. Uh, concatenate. Okay, okay. Concatenate.c. It's compiling. Let A is an executable file. Okay, you can simply see here. CPROGM, then twice CPROGM, then CPROGM, and then three times CPROGM. This is our program, and this is our output. So I hope uh, you can... Uh, you can correlate the things here, right? You can correlate the things. Let me do it uh, betterly. Okay. So this CPROGM was printed for this one, this puts, and for this one, second, for this one, this one, and for second, this. So for, for output would be look like this. So I hope the concept is clear to everyone. Further, anybody is having any kind of doubt or confusion or query in this question, you may ask me, and I will try to resolve all your doubts and queries as early as possible from my. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.